When students are provided with numerous opportunities to develop effective strategies for solving addition problems, they will be more readily able to transfer many of those strategies to solving subtraction problems. For example, many students use the counting on or counting up strategy to help solve addition problems. 5 plus 3 equals 5, 6, 7, 8. Students can then use the related strategy counting back to solve subtraction problems. 8 minus 3 equals 8, 7, 6, 5. Counting back is an approach that many students use in the early development of their subtraction strategies. As students develop their understanding of number combinations and gain experience solving addition problems, they may develop an awareness of other helpful strategies, such as doubles, 4 plus 4 equals 8, or 7 plus 7 equals 14. This same strategy, doubles, can also be applied to subtraction problems. 14 minus 7 equals 7, or 16 minus 8 equals 8. As students become comfortable using the double strategy, they may start to use another related strategy, near doubles, in which facts are derived and problems are solved by applying their knowledge of doubles to near doubles. Along with using counting back and doubles, students also need to have numerous experiences using a variety of models to help develop other strategies for solving subtraction problems. To model subtraction, students should begin with concrete objects, such as plastic counters, that they can physically place and move around. They can then proceed to visually representing subtraction by drawing objects and then crossing them out. You can model this strategy for students by using paper and pencil or by using virtual manipulatives, such as the counters found in the Macmillan Math Tool Chest, for use on an interactive whiteboard. Select the counter tool, level 1, subtraction. Select a counter, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 1, 2 equals 4. As students grow comfortable using counters to model and solve subtraction problems, they can transition to a pictorial model, such as a number line. Using an oversized number line on the floor on which students can move from place to place to model subtraction is a great way to introduce this model. You can also use paper and pencil models or virtual manipulatives. For example, this number line tool in the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives shows subtracting using arrows that hop backward and forward. 9 minus 6 equals. The menu end, or 9, is illustrated by the first arrow, or hop. The subtrahend, 6, is illustrated by the second arrow, or hop. So 9 minus 6 equals 3. As your students use these strategies and models, remember to include having them record the symbolic representations of the problems, the corresponding number sentence or equation. Using this dual representation of the problems will help strengthen student understanding of the concepts and procedures before they move on to working with purely symbolic depictions.